So Space Flight Simulator 1.6 is right around the corner, and it's looking like it's going to be one of the biggest, most game-changing updates we have ever seen. We've got water, a complete update to the current solar system, and so many brand new planets as well as one of the most requested mobile features ever. Now, let's jump straight into the new solar system, because it's going to be upgraded massively. Here, we can see Earth has got a brand new texture, along with clouds, ice, and even water, which we'll get onto in a bit. Now, having a look at Venus, on the surface, we have got a brand new texture, as well as a completely updated planet texture, which I actually quite like. Keeping on the move, we have got Mercury with a new texture, and also Mars as well, featuring ice on its poles, plus updates to its moons, Phobos and Deimos. Now onto all the new planets, and this is where it starts to get cool. We have finally got Saturn, which I think looks so cool with its rings, as well as its moons, Pan, Enceladus, Titan, and Iapetus. As well, we have got Uranus and its moons, Miranda, Ariel, and Titania, and it keeps going. We have got Neptune and also its moons as well, Proteus and Triton. And finally, not really a planet, but we have got Pluto and its moon Charon. This is for sure going to give us a lot of new places to explore. And not to forget about the long awaited water update is here. Now you can finally land your rockets in the ocean, create drone ships and so much more. I cannot wait to play around with this. Now we're on to what may be one of the most exciting things to ever come to mobile, and will definitely change the way that you play the game. But first, if you want to know when this update is released, please do subscribe, it is greatly appreciated. Now yes, mods are actually coming to mobile. Here we have the mod loader screen right inside the game, where you'll be able to see all of your packs. This means you'll be able to upload custom parts and textures to the game. I still can't believe I'm actually saying this. It means things like custom engines and even having your own Rick Astley's are possible. Now, another little small addition for Android users is that the savings file has been moved from the data folder to the media folder, which means finally, once again, we can access the game's files from our phone. However, this is only just covering the surface of what is new in 1.6, and everything that you may have probably missed is in this video here.